hello guys welcome to another video bad here and today we're going to talk together i'm going to give you guys five tips that you can use right now to decide which diet you have to be choosing for yourself that will serve you best and that will give you effective result very soon so make sure you stick to the end of the video and let's go Hold me when i'm falling niggas want it on me want it all it on me stone up now i'm stony i got a lot of fake ones i just want a bailout niggas more raw Okay guys, first and foremost, most of the time people want to, you know, start a weight loss journey, whatever, and they normally don't know even how to start, right? So that's why you see many people at the gym, they start, you know, I, I can't count how many times I've been to the gym and I can, and I'm sure most of you guys have also had this situation where you go to the gym and you have somebody that will just be asking you, okay man, what food do you eat? How often do you eat on a daily? How many calories? And all these things is kind of annoying, right? Meaning like you definitely know that this thing when you are a bit experienced will not work for you, the person that is actually asking you that. It takes a deeper understanding than just knowing what food you have to eat, right? So now I'm going to share with you these tips so that you can I can make you understand what to look for when you're actually trying to open any diet and also when to, what you have to be looking for when you are trying to understand what way you start you have to be shifting your meals and then you can reach your ultimate physique so guys the first thing i'm gonna have to ask you is like sit down and have a deep understanding on what exactly you want to achieve with your body make sure you sit down and you can actually take a sheet of paper and let's write this together like the first thing you have to be clear about is what exactly you want your body to be transformed for you know like why are the reason you're trying to jump on the new diet why are the reason that makes you that motivates you to kind of change the way you're eating right now and getting something better right what kind of physique are you trying to achieve you know at the end of this diet you know what i mean these are going to be very crucial this is going to be a very crucial question because as soon as you lose as soon as you lose this uh, the motto like the reason why like as soon as you lose the motivation trust me you always have this idea and it will be like a little bit of motivation to help you push through the process right as soon as you know like what exactly you want your body to be like as soon as you are very clear about you know what you want to achieve the second thing is like put a timeline put a time on it right especially if you are just preparing for something maybe you're getting married right like you have to be sure about you have to be able to decide like okay how long do I want to achieve this team, this dream body? You know, how long do I have to lose this weight, right? How long do I have to gain this weight? How long do I have to do this? It's very easy if you guys are preparing for like maybe a contest, if you for a contest, if you are like an athlete that competes, you know, or if you are like a model, like fitness model, or I don't know, you know, like just a model that you want to you know get your body into shape for like a photo shoot. It's very easy because at that moment you can have a date. That you know by that time you'll be having the shooting also some of you guys can be just getting ready for like maybe a graduation you know trying to lose weight for before you graduate some of you guys will be trying to get like lose weight before you get married so that's already like very easy to set that goal but you know knowing that you have a specific date for that event to happen so be prepared make sure you have all these things because these dates are going to be very 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 crucial for you to understand what you have to do you know and what kind of effort you have to actually put inside that leads us to the third tips that i'm going to give you now be very very prepared and be very very specific about what kind of effort you are willing to put to dedicate into this journey because it's not going to be an easy one i'm just trying to put this out there because like you know the truth is that most people they think okay you see somebody you want to as I said before, like you just want to know like what he eats because for you it seems like he's having this body. Oh, I like his body. So there's no, there's the only reason he might have this body is because he's eating these specific foods. You know what I mean? So for you it's very easy to get such information and you feel like okay, oh, from this thing like if I have the foods that he eats, I mean I have the the secret recipe, right? Which is not truth. You know, it is not the truth. So what I want you to understand is like be clear with yourself what kind of effort you can do at your level 
to reach that specific goal you are trying to do right that will be making you pre that will be helpful to make you like uh, mentally prepared and know exactly what you are engaging into you know what i mean this is one thing that you have to really keep into high consideration the fourth thing now like you have all these aspects kind of set down and then now you already know what you are trying to achieve why and you know when you know and what you are ready to do for that right now we are going to the fourth thing document yourself document yourself learn as much as you can about what you are trying to do this thing is going to be like in two two ways right learn how your body works that's a very very simple thing but learn how your body works because every diet out there really work like let's be really honest all the food that are out there that grow out there are really with the sole purpose of kind of nurturing us right so everything works let me just tell you this to be really clear like everything works right but not everything works for everybody so know that no matter what you're kind of choosing it's going to be something you know you might choose one specific food and it might not be working with your body we have different you know we have particular like we have features that kind of make us unique and this is a good and it's also a bad thing it's very good when you try to use it as you know to understand you know when you know exactly how your body works and you know what works for you and you're doing it like full time you know what i mean but it's also bad when you know you start asking people about what they do and you know you're trying to do the same thing we all have like one friend or you know at one point or another with you know me myself i've done that you know what i mean i've done that like went on youtube just start checking started checking on big youtube influencers you know start like checking on what they eat on a daily basis not trying to understand you know like okay this he's eating this and that trying to understand the principle but trying to replicate the same thing that they were doing on my own life at like the truth is that at the end of the day you you don't always have like his body you don't really achieve the same result that he's achieved with this technique and you know with this habit so you definitely have to find something that works for yourself and for that you need to be able to understand how your body works maybe you can be so you are somebody that kind of like i don't know you work better when you can have three meals in a day right some people don't really have that good cravings and i feel like it's a bad idea it's a bad good appetite so it's very bad first of all but you know you can still work with that i would say learn how often learn your body to understand how often you can eat on a daily basis right what kind of food do you like what kind of uh, you know what kind of food do you like how you know what kind of diet you are even going for because people will be choosing keto like a keto diet high protein diet like you know this uh, intermittent fasting diet these are all the things that are out there with the you know they'll bust your mind if you don't know what you're thinking of, what to think and how to use that all of these things works you know they really work but for you you have to be sticking with them for a long time and for you to stick with them in the long run you have to know what you have to choose right the one you're going for because one thing is that if you go for something and you like it well, if you're staying with it for a long time and you're doing the right thing, you definitely have your results. You know what I mean? But first, you have to understand your body. You have to understand, you know, what you are doing, what you are using. And the first thing to do is like, as you learn your body, the second step is going to be learning about your nutrients. You have to learn your ins and out, like the calories intakes and calories expenditures. You know what I mean? Learning about your normal meals. This. The learning about your nutrients like the calories that like come from uh, carbohydrate fat fibers and you know proteins and all these things these are the key factors you have to know man you have to and then like i don't know how to tell you this but the truth is that when you know all these things it's going to be much more easier for you to understand what you like and to know like how for you like you know what are the best ways for you to kind of make this work towards your daily lifestyle and just like integrate it you know what i mean because at the end of the day it's not going to be just something you just want to start for like two weeks and you are already craving you know like for something else yeah you're trying to binge you are trying to cheat or something like that because one thing that i would say is like all the time when i'm preparing like a diet for somebody 
and I, I have to take all this information from the person, like, you know, getting all the information, what do you do, how do you, how do you structure your day, what kind of meals do you eat, what do you prefer, and all these things, what kind of training session do you have, like, all these things, right? Most of the time, when I'm coming to the place where I'm giving the, I'm telling the person, okay, I'm going to give you a diet, and you give the diet to the person, the person goes through. You know, you're trying to understand whether the person is okay with that, or if there's anything you can actually change. The best, most of the time, some people you have this question coming back. When am I cheating, right? And I'm like, I feel like you're not ready for this. Like you haven't even tried it. Or maximum, the people like they will try one week and they would come and ask me like, okay, when am I having a cheat day? And I'm like, are you sure you really want to do this? Because at the end of the day, when you choose the right things, you don't feel cheating. Because on a daily basis, you are kind of satisfied with what you have. You know what I'm saying? So choose that. We're going to have another video very soon on the channel when I'm going into details about what exactly you need when it comes to proteins and all these carbohydrates, fibers and all these little things so that you can really understand what to do, right? So the fifth tip that I'm going to have for you is that if you don't understand all these little things but you know you really want something that's professionally designed for you, you know, that really matches what you are what 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 your needs are you know what your goal is so what you can do is like you can reach out to a professional me myself i offer diet plans you know i can do diet plans and training program for people you can reach out to me on my instagram easily and we're going to talk and i'm going to tell you what to do i'm going to work for you we're going to do what to do there are plenty of people out there that are really specialized into this that studied for this that that's their job right so if you have the means to be able to afford the like the service of like professional diet professional 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 dietitians okay. professional dietitians or like somebody that can train you fitness talk to somebody like that listen and try to help him try to use him to help you towards that goal right this is going to be very 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 helpful and uh, yeah keep considering doing that and then also know that this is going to be like a very very good push to help you avoid the mistakes you know so that you can move forward with you know like minimizing like like getting the result in no time like in the less least amount of time and know that this when you start to diet like the worst you want to do is just thinking about this just for that date and know that it's going to be something you can be carrying out throughout your life because your fitness goals and your, your health is something you always have to work like towards it throughout your whole life so know that you have to talk to somebody if you're not really educated already when it comes to that when you if you don't have experience or you are kind of confused you really want to know what to choose document yourself but make sure you also reach out to a professional dietitian as somebody that's professional that does that so that he can work for you if you don't have the means it's okay talk to a friend that's kind of more experienced than you start try to make him to explain to you right what exactly will work for you rather than asking him to give you his diet so that you can apply that it doesn't work like that you know what i mean it doesn't so guys that's the thing six things i want to tell you is that this is a bonus right so six things i want the six tips i really want to have for you is that don't start any diet thinking about cheating you know what i mean don't do that start with something mentally prepared that you're going for this you know you are going at like to war like you're going to war like you're deep inside you know it's like a lifetime commitment if you can get into this thing and you know that you know for life you're set you know you've, you've done you you do it you know through thin and thick you're with it like you're gonna make it man just stick into it and make sure in the beginning you choose the right thing and choose something you can stay on it like forever like it's like for life you know what i mean it's like a, like like an engagement it's like a marriage right you can stay with it forever focus on it forget the cheat me that's the way guys i'm taking you guys very soon for another video we're gonna make a lot of talks like this bad craftsman i'm signing out if you're new here make sure you subscribe like the video give share it to any of your friends that's trying to and like you know start something or you know i'm really thankful for you coming back on the channel and i'm proud of you guys coming back here to get tips and all these things remember the only way you're failing is why you're giving up, right? See you guys on another video. Bat and I'm signing up. Molly, you can die for this necklace. Living lawless, screaming God bless, trip is flawless.